Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to rig absolutely any article of clothing to the metahuman body so that you can bring it in and have one whole body when animating. Now I found this to be the easiest way, the fastest way. I've tried other methods. I've tried using a different skeleton's body and chopping off the head, trying to attach the metahuman head, but it either stretched or uh, and then I found the small patch for that, but after that, once I animated it, the, the head just kept staring up at the sky, and there was a lot of odd, funky things going on. So I found that this method is in a whole lot better, and it's actually a lot easier to do as well. So the first thing we're going to do is download the MetaHuman Skeleton. And we're going to download the asset. Today I'm actually going to be using this medieval guard. Um, but you can use any article of clothing that you'd like. Uh, if you want to follow along directly with me, he is about $40 to purchase. Or there's probably some sale going on where you can get it from cheaper. But the first thing we want to do is download that. So we're going to come into Unreal Engine. Uh, once you import it into the project, locate it. What we're going to do is we're going to come in to find our asset. We're going to right click, go to Asset Actions, Export, and then save it to wherever you like. And we also want to save the MetaHuman Skeleton. But we're going to come into Male, Tall, oh, Normal Weight, Normal Body, and same thing, right click, Asset Actions, download it, save it to wherever you want, and then we're going to come over into Blender. We're in a file, we're going to import FBX and go to wherever you imported them. and just bring them both into the scene like so. Now, I did bring the article of clothing, even though we're just rigging clothing, I brought the clothing in with the skeleton. And the reason for that is because it's not exactly lined up to the metahuman body. The metahuman body is the one that's here in dark gray, and the clothing are there in light gray. So in order to line that up, I'm actually going to need to borrow the bones for just a moment. I'm going to left click on the bones, come up here from object mode, go down into pose mode. I'm going to grab this elbow joint right here and then I'm going to rotate it into place. Okay. And I'm using R to rotate it and I'm just using my camera's view to get that into place. If you're not familiar with using Blender, I suppose I could do another tutorial on that, but this is all going to be done assuming you already know the basic of the software because everything I'm going to be doing is pretty basic. And I didn't mirror that, so I'm going to have to go over to the other side and do the same poses here. Here we go. That's roughly where I want it to be. And then I'm going to put the hand here. Now the clothes is, are going through him just a bit. Those are going to be masked out. It, um, this method actually only requires that there's a close proximity, but if you want your work perfect or if your character has a lot of things on them like extra bags or uh, pouches or belts or anything like that, you want to come into Blender and try to get it closer. But for the most, for most things, this is going to work just fine. So now that I've got the clothing and the position I want, we don't actually need the body, uh, need the bones for the article of clothing anymore. So we're going to go ahead and delete those, but first there's a couple things we have to do. First, with the clothing selected, we have to come over here to the modifiers tab and we have to go ahead and apply that modifier. Otherwise, if we, if we don't, once I delete it, the clothing is going to go all over the place. The next thing we need to do is unparent it. So we need to Alt P. We need to clear the parent, but we also want to keep the transformation. Otherwise, again, when I delete it, it's going to jump to a different scale. So once those two things are done, I'm going to go ahead and delete the bones. And there we have articles of clothing. Now, this character came with, oh, I didn't clear parent for the head and gloves. So it actually, where'd it go? Uh, it's very large. This would have happened to the entire clothing, but it happened to this because I I had this separate and I unparent I didn't unparent it. That's okay. I'm actually going to delete it. Those are the pieces I did not want. Uh, I didn't like the gloves or the way the gloves fit. And if you do want to try um, rigging gloves, you will have to line them up uh, a bit perfectly because they're very tiny bones right there in the hands. Uh, 
it's easier without it and I didn't like how bulky they made the character uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go without the gloves and obviously we're gonna be using our metahuman head so we did not need the head that came with the guard character oh, I have a little piece left over I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so now I've got my article of clothing and I've got the new bones that I'm gonna rig it to now because I brought this in with the bones uh, with the skeleton because I needed to adjust it. It's gonna have vertex data in there It's already gonna have its own vertex groups. That's gonna clash with the method of Data transfer that we're trying to do so what I need to first do and what you should always do if you're bringing something in that has bones is delete all of the vertex groups now Sometimes if you're bringing in an OBJ file or an FBX file that isn't attached to a skeleton and it's just the article of clothing, you won't have to do this. Your This window should actually already be empty if you're not bringing in the skeleton. But again, those adjustments needed to be made to get it close to the arm, so I had to use the skeleton. So now that those vertex groups are cleared, with the article of clothing still selected, I'm going to come down to modifiers. I'm going to add a modifier and I'm going to add a data transfer. Okay. Now, what I want to transfer are the vertex data and the vertex groups only, okay? I'm gonna select my source. Oh, I don't need the eyedropper. I'm just gonna click in here. There's only one source data here. If you're going in at a, if you're coming in at a blank project the same as me, you're only gonna have that one source there anyway. So we can go ahead and generate data layers and then I'll come back down to the vertex groups and you'll say it copied all of the vertex groups which would have clashed if we had left it, uh, left the original ones in there. So my vertex groups are set. However, we're not done. We just had the data transfer. I'm going to twirl that up and then I'm going to add another modifier and that's the armature. Again, blank project. There's only one armature and it is the root of the metahuman. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, once I click the metahuman's bones, go up into pose mode, you will see, let me just grab this elbow bone right here the clothing is rigged. No extra stuff, no extra steps, nothing complicated. It's super easy now to get any article of clothing onto a metahuman. Okay, so the one last thing I want to do is I need to connect it to the metahuman itself. So I'm actually going to hold shift, grab it, and drag it onto the root of the metahuman. Okay. So I can twirl down the root and yep, yeah, it's right there. It's connected there. And now all I need to do is export it. So while holding onto the uh while holding onto the article of clothing, holding on to shift and selecting the metahuman bones, we're gonna go ahead and leave the metahuman body behind. We already have a metahuman body in Unreal Engine, so it's not necessary. And we're gonna go ahead and export FBX. Uh you can use the default settings, we just need that FBX file. All right, we're gonna come on in and drag the FBX file into here. Okay, so once you drag it in, you're gonna get this window here. The only thing we have to do is twirl this drop down menu and make sure the metahuman base skeleton is the one that we have selected. We're gonna go ahead and import it. We're gonna get this failed to merge bones. This is because I've deleted the hand and heads, so we don't actually have anything to um, rigged to those. So it's going to say, oh, the bones are missing or nothing's connected to those. Don't worry. The default metahuman's body is already going to be there and connected to those. So we're going to say no. And there we have it. Our meshes come in. Now, if your mesh is gray, you can go ahead and import the materials. I've already done, I've already done so and added the materials to my object. However, I've, the next step is to create a blueprint. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the original metahuman blueprint. You don't have to, but in case anything messes up or happens, I always like to make a duplicate. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. We're going to come over to the viewport so we can see. Now there are gonna be things that he does not need. He does not need his legs, torso, or his feet. You can go ahead and delete those, but we wanna make sure we keep the body and the face. So with the root selected, well, let me drag this up. I'm going to come into my content drawer, my skeletal mesh for the guard. I'm actually just going to drag it right in. Okay, so my, now my guard is connected underneath the root. I'm going to go ahead and compile and save it. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and bring him into the scene, track, add him to the sequencer, delete his control rig because you can't add additional uh, things unless the control rig is out of the way. We can always add the control rig back later, but there I'm going to add this. Oh no, we've noticed that while it is doing the animation, it's left the clothing behind. That's because there's one more final step we need to do. We need to come over to the construction script and we need to tell it, the clothing, that it needs to follow the body. The body is in charge. Everything follows the body. The clothing needs to know that. So we need to set. So go ahead and type lead and then we want set leader pose component body. Oh, let's see. Break that link. The body is actually the leader. That, that was worded awful. And our target is actually going to be the guard. Now, this will work for anything, any article of clothing you want to attach and follow the metahuman body. This is the code that you need to put into this construction strip. Uh, construction script. Set leader pose component. The leader is going to be the body and anything that needs to follow is going to plug in here. You can plug as many things into the target as you want and they will all follow the body. Alright, so once we compile, we're going to go ahead and click save. And now when we come back over, go into our sequence, we'll notice that those clothes are indeed following along and now you've done it. You have rigged your article of clothing to the metahuman body. You've made sure the article of clothing will follow. And again, this will work for anything. No needing to cut off heads and put them on a new skeleton, try to make the skeletons follow along or anything like that. And there you have a complete metahuman able to animate, keeping its own head, keeping its own body. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like if you found that helpful and subscribe for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you in the next one.